YouTube, this is Spock. Today we're gonna talk about a serious problem that's happening to Apple iPad users. They updated to 9.3.2 and the thing got into a boot loop. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. Warning. If you get a boot loop after updating your iPad to 9.3.2, do not, I repeat, do not put the device into a DFU mode and do not try to restore again. Just follow these steps first that I'm going to show you in this video. Very important because you might end up with error one. Welcome back. So you updated your iPad to 9.3.2 and suddenly um, it rebooted and in fact it keeps rebooting and you're like hey my my thing is completely bricked so you know and then it hangs to iTunes with the logo to iTunes and you're like what should I do and then you try to you know um, restore again and then it's not going okay so in this video i'm gonna talk about what to do if you got the boot loop okay so you updated to 9.3 or 9.3.2 via the update that you got in your iphone or your ipad you know in your ipad you had to update you saw the little red one so you updated via the air that's how they call it and then you must connect to the to itunes and then it gets into a boot loop so from that point i'm gonna show you how to fix it well i'm gonna tell you how to fix it when this is happening to you there are two fixes two way you can fix it if you're on the windows or on the mac you can get an app called rec boot okay with rec boot you will kick the um the device out of the recovery mode okay you can also try this hold down while it's rebooting just hold down power and the home button just keep holding them for 10 15 seconds you know and then bang it will get out of the boot loop and then it should boot uh, the normal way if that did not help um, you can try a uh, rec boot or even tiny umbrella and uh, kick it out of recovery mode uh, don't forget for tiny umbrella you will need to install java first on your mac and even on your windows machine i think i'm not sure but on my mac i had to install java so that is how to fix the boot loop that you might get after updating to 9.3.2 uh, many ipad uh, users have this problem a friend of mine just contacted me he has the ipad 4 thing was working just fine updated to 9.3.2 bang you know the thing got into a boot loop and then he put it into a dfu mode that's exactly what i should do as well and then uh, he tried to you know recover uh, again via i iTunes, iTunes would say found a device that need to be restored so and then needed a complete total restore and then the thing uh, stopped at 50% and gift error one and error one you know uh, most of the times is a hardware problem I did fix uh, iPhone 3GS a long time ago that also had error one and I remember that you know uh, the guy also brought the phone to um, to my iPhone guru here in this in my city Groningen and he could not fix it you know and then I got the phone and I did lots of things also showed it in the video and then we fixed it and that was really fantastic even activated it and it became a just good to use phone again but um, yeah I don't know how people that you know went into a DFU mode and tried to do the restore again and then at 50% you know bang they got uh, error one I'm not sure how they gonna fix it but I think it's really sad that uh, people are updating their device and then they end up in a thing like this that's why I'm telling you for real if your device works good and you have no problems with it you know ignore that little red one ignore it because you know i'm i'm not updating as well anymore in fact i don't have my iphone 6 that was on 8.2 anymore i traded it for a 64 gigabyte so i can make 
you know longer videos i did for my youtube but in fact you know i'm not really happy with the 9.2.1 that this thing is running you know and i'm not gonna update to 9.3 you know i don't see no reason why this thing is working just fine so you know um yeah apple um you guys are you know sending out updates and people their devices are dying out there and you know some of them have no warranty anymore i don't think it's cool um you guys say that a uh, device should go uh three dead generations but uh i disagree on that you know some some phones you know uh the quality of the phones is good enough to let it go even more generations um i still have my iphone 3g 3gs they all work just fine iphone 4 you know uh, 4s you know also some generations ago still working just good you know and i'm sure that in two or three years from now they will still work fine and in 10 years from now the way i treat them they will still work just fine so no need to send me or send the user software that you know um is kind of breaking these devices please don't do it apple you know it's really hurting that uh friends of mine you know are updating their devices and then they end up you know in error 56 error 57 you know crazy errors that you know are you know um being explained as hardware problems you know some apple uh, uh guy will tell you yes uh, probably your phone felt on the ground and the chip has a little crack and uh you know uh when you're gonna update then i mean like then you must also tell us these things you know uh, don't update if you have a little crack i think it's really ridiculous that uh users are being set up you know to update in such a way i also updated and lost complete apps you know um yeah apple i'm not sure why you guys are doing this you know uh upgrading to uh to my mac in fact from uh it's running lion now and um mavericks but mavericks is also kicked out of the app store no apple never said that they would remove it out of, it's just removed but people are still you know running mavericks and maybe they want to do a complete restore if they did not you know save the cd or the the, the files the iso file or the dmg then you know you're you're, you're asking people to go and find it on other sources and that is said you know that while it was in in the in the list of the applications of the user you know the application accounts uh, of the users the itunes accounts of the users so that's really sad uh, you guys are removing things updating things and in fact breaking our devices that uh, we really love and that we paid a lot of money for i think apple that is uh, something that you guys must look into maybe your development uh, team is having totally different ideas than you know uh, Tim Cook himself I don't know if it's Tim Cook that is pushing the developers to do a thing like this I know Steve Jobs would never do a thing like this Steve Jobs always said that applications all apps should be reverse compatible these days it's just a big joke many apps are not even reverse compatible you know so yeah it's really sad so um peeps this uh how this is how to fix your boot loop uh and you're getting it if you're updating your device and uh, only advice what i can give you is if your device runs good you know no need to update it because yeah in fact yeah you know why should you take a chance you know every time now when i uh, last time when i updated my phone you know i was really scared that you know um because this thing you know this uh this iphone uh, 6 plus it has some cracks in the screen so it it felt on the ground long time ago that's why this screen is cracked and i bought it like this just to you know do editing video editing uh with imovie i needed it because i could not you know get along with only 16 gigabytes of my previous iphone 6 that's why i also updated to 64 gigabyte now but i was really scared when i was updating that phone i was like oh my god maybe there's a crack in the chip and you know the whole update will go give me some error 47 you know it's 
giving people heart attacks there apple you know please don't do it don't change things in a way that people cannot you know get along with their device anymore don't take away possibilities for the user it's really sad uh, all your companies doing things like that making it even harder for the user you know to do their things it's sad you know it's sad that in the edge browser you know the user must go completely into uh, uh, advanced advanced settings to find all the way hidden there how to show the home button i mean the home button is something that should be standard in every browser safari has the same nonsense you know it took me hours to find out how to get my home button to show in safari now i know you know right mouse click customize toolbar and you know just slide the little home up to the place where you want it you know but it's really sad that things are being set away for the user so users are not knowing how to do it it's like you guys want to keep the users stupid it's sad you know um i would say stop that politic you know um yeah make it even more accessible for the user don't take away possibilities for the users and please you know don't push updates to people strokes that are breaking their devices Thanks for watching and till my next video.